Hello everyone and welcome to my Planet Coaster 2 Pathing Tool Tutorial. Today I want to show you all the options you have when placing down paths to your park and also giving you some tips and tricks on how to use it. Let's have a look at the different options you have when you want to place down a path in Planet Coaster 2. There are different modes available. The first one is the line builder which has the opportunity to choose from straight or curved. You can decide how the terrain style will be automatic or suspended, ground or um, you can just um, switch automatically between those both. Then you can set the connection angle or square which I will showcase a little later. You can decide on how wide the path should be. For example I have possibility to go from 4 to 12 and you also can select a fixed length of the track. While placing down you may want to choose if the camera will follow or you will follow and rotate or just move the camera freely. You can use the angle snap to make it a little more geometric or use the length snap to have pathing which will line up nicely, for example, for building a nice looking queue. You have the opportunity to, to decide if the pathing will merge together and you can set a working height as well. I would say let's place down some paths with the different option. I will use the line builder now and place down a straight path. If I have selected the straight, you will see it will stay straight but add a little curved element in for the connection. If I select curved, I can click on here and place a nicely curved path for our guests. If I want to raise the path, the only thing I have to do is press the button shift on my keyboard and move my mouse up and downwards and then the ramp will be auto generated. If I set the connection to square the paths will connect like this. So this will try to always have a 90 degree angle. If I set the connection type to angle we will have some nice smooth connections of two different segments. The classic path tool is like the old one we already know from Planet Coaster 1. It is still a little more improved but you can just decide on the line width and fixed length and you place it down piece by piece as we already know it from the first game. The next option you have is the draw tool which is pretty easy because you can just select between straight and curve again. For the straight, for example, you can just draw it down an area you want the, to have a plaza. If you choose curve, you can just go and make some nice round plazas as well. If you want to use something like a grid based tool, you can use the stamp builder. You have four options of different forms in here. For example, if you use the square option, it will automatically snap to next to each other. You can also combine the different forms into a nice looking special form. And you also have the opportunity to use the advanced move tool. If you press X on the keyboard, you can just put it down by using the gizmo. If you want to have a roundish look at this octagon, you can simply use the rounding tool and highlight and click over the different areas. You will see the path edges will be rounded. If you want to change the look of your path, you can go to the customized style, select the different path texture, set as uh, the color as well, for example the green 
and go back to the path tools and choose the customized brush. Now you can just select the highlighted parts of your pathing and customize it as you want. Last but not least, there is the edit tool which you can use to edit the form of your path sections. So for example, I can select the whole thing and move it downwards so this can be added to make it look even even nicer. If you don't want to place every bench or bin individually you have the opportunity to use some path extras. Click on the customize extras tab and here you can select the different railings for example on the pathing and you also have the opportunity to deactivate or activate the rails as well as deactivate or add supports. You also have the opportunity if railings are added to your path to set a different color. So all the railings are multicolor. So this adds another wide range of possibilities while placing down paths. You also have the chance to add path extras like bins or benches. So for example, I choose to add some aquatic bins to my paths and I also have the opportunity to select on which sides this ones will be placed. So I will select the placement left, right or both or alternating so they will switch between right and left and I can also set the spacing so I don't want to have too many. That's why I'm going for a spacing with 12. After I have set all those um, things, I can place down the path and see that I immediately get a nice railing with the bins at the edges of the paths. And I also have the opportunity to select some benches as well. Then we will have the benches immediately added directly while placing down the path, which makes it even easier for longer paths by not placing down all the benches individually. If I want to have some custom cutouts in my plazas, I can go to the delete tab and select the stamp delete tool and choose a basic form, choose how big it should be. I have a different scale and for example, I will just cut out a little hole into this big plaza. With a click, everything will be removed and I get a nice cutout to have some space for scenery that people will move around this section. In the customizing tab, you have different options of paths, but there are some special ones like the Jazzy Mosaic path because you have four different color areas. So every little tile is recolorable. So this is a really, really nice addition. And it also works for most of the paths that you have the recolor option and gives us even more opportunities to place down nice looking and different paths for all your themed areas in Planet Coaster 2. To make areas in your park only accessible for your staff members, there is a new option which is called Staff Paths. These paths are placed like all the others but they look a little different. You have only one option and you can set the color as well. For example, I use the hunter green and place it down, connect it up to the plaza and you will immediately see that we having these little octagons on this path which is an indicator that this is a staff only path. Only your staff member can access this and have the opportunity to visit buildings connected to this little area. And you can add this to have some shortcuts in your park between themed areas that your staff members can easily reach the next staff building to get a nice break between shifts. When it comes to queues, there are currently not too many options available, but there are again different types of path textures. So for example, I will go with the rustic cube path and place it down. Here's a little tip. 
if you want to have some tight things because if you place it down like this it is very very helpful if you go to the straight mode at an angle snap to 45 degrees in combination with the length snap of four meters it is super super easy to make nice 90 degrees twists and connect it up like this you will see with this third one we will get a nice connection here and it will look really really nice for your queuing areas currently there is no option to make straight lines like we or sharp edges like we had in planet coaster one if i want to customize this queue line i just go back into the customize tab and select the queue thing go to the vinyl queue path and i want this to be purple then I go back and add some railing as well because I want some nice fences and the color of this should be orange to have a nice crazy combination. Then I can use the customized brush to apply this. There is different size options as well and I am just going over the whole path section and it will look really, really nice very, very fast. This is it with my short pathing tutorial in Planet Coaster 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.